This video is about Ecotec Coral Glue. So we have three sizes of glue. We have a 30 ml, a 75 ml, and a 295 ml. In addition to these three sizes, we also have replacement caps, which comes in a three pack of lids and caps for the 295 size. That can be useful if you've been using the glue and you get a little moisture on the end or even the moisture in the air causes the tips to clog up. That way you can quickly replace it, put a new one on, and you're good to go. Ecotech Coral Glue is a cyanoacrylate. And what that means is it's an acrylic resin which is activated by moisture. This is an important thing to know because that means that the water in your tank will activate the glue, the moisture in the air will activate the glue, and even the moisture on your skin will activate the glue. So what you need to do when you're using these types of products, particularly cyanoacrylates like Ecotec Coral Glue and other super glues, is make sure that you're using gloves and that you're careful not to get it on your face or in your eyes or anywhere where um, it could cause a problem for you. Cyanoacrylates are very safe. They are um, non-toxic. They're neutral. So beyond the actual sticky situations you might find yourself in, they will not harm you or your livestock. Having said that, the fumes given off when the glue is curing can cause respiratory irritation. So it's a good idea not to inhale the fumes or whenever possible to do it in a better ventilated area. Okay, now that we've talked about some of the safety issues associated with this glue and glues like it, let's talk about what differentiates the Ecotec Coral Glue from other glues of this type. The biggest difference is that in addition to being available in these three sizes, particularly this nice 295 milliliter bottle, which is very easy to use with replaceable tops, the other defining characteristic is that it is a gel. And what that means is that it has its own structural composition as you're using it to glue your frags. That makes it a lot easier because it doesn't run all over the place and gives you a little bit of structure to work with as you're holding your items in place to cure. Curing is very fast and can take place uh, from seconds to minutes, depending on how much is used. As I said before, it is cured by moisture, so there is a chemical reaction that has to take place for it to harden. Once the glue is hardened, you have a very strong bond, which should last a very long time, if not indefinitely, and allows your coral to grow um, over the glue and then also over the frag plug which it's attached to and then ultimately over your rock work. Here's a couple tips and tricks to get the most out of your Ecotec Coral Glue. The first is a rather strange one and applies to acrylate or acrylic resins which is that the reaction that takes place to cause hardening is actually temperature dependent. So if you want your glue to last a very long time one of the best places to keep it is in the freezer. If you keep it in the freezer, that neutralizes the reaction and will massively extend the shelf life of your glue. Another key point is to make sure that you keep moisture out of the bottle. Now, while some expert users may even be able to use the bottle underwater without letting moisture into it, for the vast majority of us, it's much better to keep the bottle out of the water wherever possible and also to keep water away from the bottle wherever possible. If you do get moisture on or near the bottle, make sure that you wipe it off before you put it away. And likewise, if you wipe off excess glue, you're less likely to have it harden and form a casing, which makes it difficult to use that glue again in the future. Another tip to make sure that you get the best out of your Ecotec Coral Glue is make sure to shake the bottle before you use it. This makes sure that all of the material inside the glue is adequately mixed together, which will ensure that you have the right consistency and the right um, hardening. It also makes it generally easier to use. So again, before you use it, shake that bottle, make sure that it's well mixed before using it. 
One final tip is if you're using Ecotec Coral Glue and you find that you've got it all over your hands or over something that you would really prefer not to have glued, nail polish remover, of which the active ingredient is acetone, will work very well at dissolving and breaking down that glue, that cyanoacrylate, so that you can get it off or remove it from whatever you've accidentally glued. That's it. Look out for Coral Glue at your local retailer and happy fragging.